Jack here from Washboard Resonators. So today I'm going to show you three basic washboard rhythms and um, hopefully help you get started on playing the washboard. And I'm going to explain using this lovely vintage drum kit um, why I play these, these rhythms or it's my own personal take on it. There's lots of videos online of people explaining how they play washboards um, and they're not necessarily grounded in early jazz drumming like mine is, so we'll, I'll give you my interpretation and you can take bits from it that you might find useful or uh, or not, that's up to you. So the, base, the basic timekeeping that I use on the washboard, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, comes from a pre-hi-hat style of drumming. So we're talking pre-1930s or pre-the swing era. So if you're not a drummer, um, the, or what you might be familiar with when people say about jazz or jazz drumming is the, the sound of the hi-hat, which is this thing here, or the ride cymbal, and that, that basic rhythm that you'll be familiar with is this. Do you all know this, yeah? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, before the hi-hat was invented, this time was kept on the snare drum, and it's, uh, it's a little bit different, but it sounds like this. And that is the basis of the time timekeeping that I use on the washboard. So I'll demonstrate it for you now. But it's uh, people can you can embellish it a lot more, which I'll get onto later. So the basic timekeeping is that for me. So I'll break it down. But in the right hand, you've got four crotchets or just four beats if you don't want to use musical terminology. So we're keeping four beats in the right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. In the left hand, then we're dragging up on the two and four, like long minims or bit notes worth twice as long as the right hand. So going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Important things to note at this point is keeping that right hand, the, the notes all the same volume. So don't want any don't want anything down in different volumes, they should be all the same time. And obviously keeping it at a nice steady pulse. We don't want anything speeding up or down as you're going through it. Should all be a nice steady pulse. The left hand's probably a bit more tricky to grasp. So I, I play it always scraping up, people play scraping down, you can experiment, see what you find the best. But I play scraping up and it's important to try and keep that as a minimum note, so nice and long, in order to fill that whole gap between the two notes. So then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, not one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to make the whole time, make the whole thing nice and smooth because we're trying to replicate this, this snare drum sound. That's what I'm trying to replicate on the washboard so it's a nice, even, full sound. Now that is a basic rhythm one that will get you through most songs at most speeds. So I'll, I'll give you a bit of an example. I'm going to play along to a uh, Lord Louis Armstrong in his Hot Five recording, which um, I won't be able to play much of it for licensing, but I'll play along to show you how it works. The important thing when you're practicing this or playing with other people is just making sure you're scraping on that two and four because that's where it is. It's not on the one and three, which is where some people might feel it. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Demonstrate you with some music. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, 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 two, I'll do, I'm going to do two more in this video and then I'll do some more that show how I kind of improvise and embellish those grooves when you're playing along to music, but feel free to experiment and try different things yourself. Um, so the, ne the next more simple one, I guess people are going to try and replicate that hi-hat sound that I demonstrated earlier, so that, that rhythm that everyone knows of when you think of jazz. Now I don't, I hear other washboard players doing this, I don't really do it, I guess it's personal taste because for me, I'm, that rhythm, you wouldn't be playing it on the snare drum like you would in early jazz. Like It, it would be played on the hi-hat, so you're going a bit later. So you can play it on the cymbal, but I don't even like that to be honest very much. But like that's still preferable for me than the snare drum. But I'll show you how, how you can play, or I prefer to play it on the washboard if I get called for it. So instead of, you could play that rhythm, the most simple way, I guess, would be trying to play that in the right hand, like you would, um, like most of us naturally would do, and like you would if you were playing drums. 
two, three, four. But you can see that I'm having to scrape on the one and three there. So personally, I don't like it and it interrupts it. So I like to play it with the two and four still in the left hand and it inter intersperses with that swing rhythm. So I, I go one, two, three, four, and one, two, and 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 three, four. And one, two, and three, four. So the right hand now, I'm still just keeping crotchets like I was in the in the, the first rhythm I showed you. So they, you can interlink them a bit better if you choose to use this one, like for a B section, for example. So I find that flows nicer and smoother. The left hand pattern's a bit different and a bit trickier, arguably. You're now scraping for longer than you were before. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can use that on the jazz stuff again if you want to, or just experiment, see what you think of it, or see what your bandmates think, or anything like that. The final one I'll show you is, is like a straight rhythm. For, I, perhaps if you're playing like some country stuff, or maybe some western swing that has a bit straighter feel, or it's even some early rock and roll skiffle. I think this is a great rhythm to use for that. So this has a bit of scrape in the right hand as, as well. So I it was going one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. If I slow that down, we're going one two and three four and one two and three four and one two and three four and one two and three four. You can hear that that kind of the bass line. Dum, 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 dum. And I still scrape my two and four with that, it just backs it up. And again, you could link it in with that basic rhythm that I'm using for all the timekeeping. So I'm going one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, and I'm going down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Again, you can experiment that different ways. You could probably reverse the whole thing if, if you find it easier. Um, I think that should be enough to keep you going, hopefully. There's three rhythms there. You can interlink with each other because that left hand basically stays the same. And uh, just make sure when you're practicing them, you've got that that two long two and four. They're all nice and even, and that as definitely on the two and four, that left hand, not on the one and three. Listen back to that example I played earlier if you need to. I'm going to do another video later, um, probably do something about some of the fills I use and how I'd, I kind of more improvise and complicate those rhythms to an extent, but just like you'd improvise in a in a jazz drum kit setting, basically. So um, hopefully that's helpful, and uh, as before, comment below if you've got any questions, subscribe to us, find us on all the social media places at the Washboard Resonators, and I hope you have fun with that. See you again soon.